Hello, this is Francis from Good Team, and I'm going to show you how to create goals within HubSpot. Um, so when you would want to use the goals feature would be if you're trying to uh, track or collect information on personal goals or on sales rep goals um, internally. So there are several ways you could do this, but the simplest way would be to go to settings and then go under tracking and analytics here you're going to click supplemental goals and then you're going to click create and choose the type of goal so if you've got you want to track deals that are created let's say for a sales rep or maybe tickets that are closed for a service rep um, you can measure that based on uh, multiple different attributions like calls made, de deals created, or meetings booked. For this example, we're going to do deals created um, in the sales pipeline. And we'll track Megan's goals. So I'm just going to select Megan and click Add. So then you'll go through month by month and set a goal for each month. Um, if you want the goals to change or progress, uh, you know, exceedingly grow. Um, if you wanted all the goals to stay the same, you know, let's say we want Megan to have 10 goals, you can say apply for the remainder of the year and it will set it for all of the months. But if you wanted to do, let's say we wanted her to increase uh, by two deals every month, then you could go in month by month and edit it like so. And then as, um, you know, time progresses, you're able to um, measure her goals based on uh, month over month. So another way that you can do this is, a, is an, it's currently in beta, but you can track revenue. Um, and these goals will actually show up in a report. So it's very simple. I mean, very similar the way that you set it up. Let's say the goal's name is test and we're going to be tracking sales. Um, we want to track revenue. Um, we do want to forecast. Uh, if you don't want to forecast, then um, you can you can click no there. Um, again, we're tracking Megan here and the year this year sales pipeline, and it works very similarly. Except this is going to be in the units of dollars. So we want her to be selling ten thousand dollars a month. $12,000 the next month, so on and so forth. And then we can schedule out some notifications for um, when she is notified of exceeding or achieving a goal, missing the goal as well. Um, and what will happen is as that goal, as month over month, as time goes on, then you'll be able to see um, her data show up here. So again, these, these uh, are able to tie to reports. But if you just want to track um, user by user and what's happening, you can go into supplemental goals and schedule them out that way.